radial styloid, scaphoid, trapezium, and the base of the first metacarpal. These are the floor structures. Now, why are these floor structures so important? You can see these floor structures in an X-ray. This is an X-ray of the wrist. You can see the radial styloid here. You can see the scaphoid, which is like boat shape. That's why it is called scaphoid. Now, this is the trapezium. This is the trapezium. And this is the base of the first metacarpal. Okay, these are the structures that are forming the floor of the uh, anatomical snuff box. Now, uh, in the anatomical snuff box, uh, the scaphoid, I told you scaphoid is most important, okay, most important is the scaphoid because scaphoid is one of the most notorious bones uh, to undergo a fracture among the carpal bones. Suppose you have a fall on the outstretched hand because it is a very common mechanism by which you uh, extend your hand when you, as a reflex, when you fall down. So when you do that, uh, the weight can be borne on the scaphoid and scaphoid can undergo fracture. And here you are seeing a uh, a case, uh, an x-ray, where you can see the uh, base of the first metacarpal, the trapezium over here, this is the trapezium, you can see the scaphoid here and you can see a cortical discontinuity here. This is a fracture of the waist of the scaphoid and this is the radial styloid. So this is a scaphoid waist fracture and this can be seen uh, in an x-ray but sometimes this can be missed on an x-ray and here one of the most important clinical features is tenderness tenderness over the scaphoid okay tenderness over the scaphoid if you find that even in the absence of an x-ray sign of a fracture you have to take it as a scaphoid a possible scaphoid fracture that is one of the re uh, reasons why clinical examination is very important in the anatomical snuff box so if you have a case where a patient had a fall on an outstretched hand and after that the patient is presenting with pain and you observe edema you observe edema over here and you observe tenderness on palpation you find tenderness in the anatomical stuff box there is a high chance that the patient can have a scaphoid waist fracture and that is very important because a waist of scaphoid fracture can eventually lead to a complication and that complication is the avascular necrosis is the avascular necrosis of the proximal fragment the reason is that uh, the uh, blood supply to the uh, scaphoid bone is coming like this okay it is, I, i'll clear this out the blood supply is coming like this from the distal fragment it goes on to the proximal fragment that is how the blood supply goes so if you have a fracture of the uh, waist of the scaphoid then that is going to affect the blood supply to the proximal fragment and eventually the proximal fragment can go for an avascular necrosis and uh, uh, the scaphoid fracture as i said before it is uh, 80 percent of uh, 70 to 80 percent of carpal bone fractures can is a scaphoid fracture and scaphoid fracture is notorious to be missed it can be missed even in x-ray it can be missed and it is also the carpal bone which is prone for avascular necrosis so due to all these reasons uh, the anatomical snuff box floor the bones forming the floor of the anatomical snuff box is very important thank you